I said a hip. Hop, the hippie, the hippie, hippie, hip, hip, hop, and you don't stop the rapping to the bang, bang, boogie, say up, chuck the boogie to the rhythm that'll make your body rock. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat, and me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. You see, I am Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello to the blacks, to the whites, the red, and the browns, to the purple, and yo's, those, but first we gotta bang, bang, the boogie to the boogie, say up, chuck the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie, let's rock. Yeah, don't stop. Rock the rhythm that'll make your body rock. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Today is Monday, May 18th. I'm Stacy Sieber. And I'm Mason Whitus, and here are today's announcements. Applications are now being accepted for next year's Junior Literature Seminar. Pick up your application in the Media Center. Get the chance to meet Shannon Alexander, author of the book, Love and Other Unknown Variables. Applications are due Wednesday, May 20th. There will be a call-out meeting for next year's girls golf team tomorrow, May 19th at 3.10 p.m. Parents are not required to attend. It will be at the high school pool room. Parents will need to pick up students outside door 14 around 3.45 p.m. On Wednesday, May 20th and Thursday, May 21st, Mrs. Martin will be holding a college application prep session for current juniors in the BHS auditorium at 7.15 a.m. Please plan to attend on one of these days. This will be a great opportunity for you to receive some direction on what is expected on college applications, as well as how to get started on the college search. There will be a boys tennis team call-out meeting in the pool classroom on Tuesday, May 26, from 3.15 to 3.45 p.m. Please bring a writing utensil. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Starkey. There will be a short call-out meeting this Friday for any boy interested in possibly running cross-country next fall. The meeting will be from 3 p.m. until about 3.15 p.m. in Mr. Nealon's room, C-126. Here's some tips for the upcoming seniors. I'd say that uh, you should be prepared for anything because senior year is not going to be what you expect, so you just need to go with the flow. The best tip that I can give you is to not let up on your academics because colleges will rescind applications once you've already been accepted you have to continue through the entire way they want to know that as soon as you do something good you're not just gonna let up so keep up do your best show up to school and have fun I would say do your homework up until the last week of school so you don't fail. wear your lanyards get to class on time um, do what you're supposed to do and the teachers will you know appreciate that and, and work with you a little bit have fun Thanks, guys. The girls' varsity tennis team closed its regular season with a 5-0 sweep of Perry Meridian on Friday. Corinne Lucas led everyone off the courts with a quick shutout at number three singles. Number two singles, Kara Maringer, and number one singles, Morgan Bettner, followed shortly after. Number one doubles, Caitlin Preda and Christina Petrovic, notched their first shutout of the season. Haley Blood and Lily House were as efficient as ever, dropping only one game. The JV team defeated a small Falcon squad by 4-0 score in a double-only format. Taylor Dorman and Allison Pritchard won 8-1. Jen Barton and Brittany Dow won 8-0. And Michaela Hoffa and Katie Wamsley also won 8-0. Senior Brooke Jaco and partner Morgan Keir finished the night with a 6-1 win. The JV had a phenomenal 13-2 record this season, and in 10 of the 13 victories, the Bulldogs held their opponents scoreless. Congrats on a great season, ladies. The Varsity Boys golf team participated in the Solomon Invitational on Saturday, hosted by Zionsville. It was a tough day for the dogs, but they were led by Luke Kelly, who shot a 74 and finished tied fourth overall. The dogs plan to regroup quickly as they are at Bear Slide Golf Club tonight for the HCC tournament. Good luck, guys. The boys track and field team traveled to Avon Friday night for the HCC conference meet. Notable performances for the night included Hari Safia Murthy's first place finishes in the 1600 and 800 meters, including a new conference record in the 800. Isaiah O'Neill finished second in the 100 meters, Nassif Kuon placed third in the 400, Mark Bond placed fourth in the 3200, and Tyler Kurtz placed fourth in the 200 meters. The team will travel to Plainfield on Thursday for sectionals. The varsity softball team dropped a close game to Mooresville on Saturday, losing 2-1. Brianna Harbin was 2-3 offensively with a double, Jessica Doctor was 1-1 with a double, and Alyssa Brown finished 1-3 with Brownsburg's only RBI of the game. The ladies will host HCC opponent Hamilton Southeastern at 6 p.m. tomorrow for Educator Appreciation Night. On Saturday, the JV softball team took part in a tournament at Zionsville. In the first game, they battled Hamilton Southeastern. Kaylee Pate pitched the entire game and held the Royals to only one run. Brownsburg had 14 hits, scoring five runs. 
Lauren Zufall went three for four with two doubles. Claire Flick was two for four with two doubles. Ali O'Leary and Kylie Anderson both went two for four with a single and a double. The dogs advanced to the championship game, but it was called off after three innings due to inclement weather. Thanks for watching, BHS. That's all we have for you today. Have a great last Monday of the school year. See you on Wednesday. Also, shout out to Miss Tincher's class, period five, dual credit English. See you then.